For this project we will need the 3D printed parts and four neodymium magnets. These neodymium magnets are 12 by 3 millimeters. I will link them in link them in the description so you can buy your own. So the first step is to get two of the magnets inside here. And I am gonna show you how to do it with Prussia Slicer. All you need to do is pause the print. While it's printing, we will make a pause, we will insert the magnets and we will resume printing. So let me show you um, how it is done using Prusa Slicer. Okay, so when you load the files into your slicer, they will be correctly oriented. So you don't have to change the orientation. These will print just fine without supports. So keep that in mind, do not rotate them. This will print perfectly fine like this. One of the things we need to consider as well is where is our seam placement. For example, here you can see that the seam is in the area where we'll be sliding the packs around. So we don't want our seam here. And Prusa Slicer has a really handy feature that lets you draw what you want the seam to be. So if I slice this again, now the seam is going to appear here on the back and the sliding area is seam free. Okay, so one that, that is one of the, the things that we need to check. The other one, and this is really important, is that we need to post the print in order to be able to insert the magnets. So, with Prusa Slicer, all we need to do is find the layer where, where the holes are bridged. We're going to make a filament change, pressing right here at, at the plus icon. And just like that, when the print, when the printer arrives this height, it will pause and it will ask us to change our filament. And we will insert our magnets in here. We will insert our magnets here and here. I'm gonna show you some footage of how it is done on a, on a light print, but that's pretty much it. Also, another thing that you need to consider is that you need to use 0.2 layer height for for the for the body let's let's call it the body and 0.1 for the packs otherwise this won't work once the printer is paused we will proceed to insert the magnets the orientation of the magnets is very important both magnets need to be oriented in the same way so the polarity need to be facing the same side for both magnets okay so now that we added four of them um, we might be wondering how am I going to prevent the magnets from sliding out and sticking to the hot end? Well, we're going to do that in the following way. We're going to add extra magnets on the outside of our part. So these magnets will keep our inserted magnets in place and we won't have to worry about the, the, the hot end. Even though our inserted magnets are already covered in plastic, we can leave the other magnets on the outside because they won't affect our print at all. Now that you have your 3D printed part with the magnets inside, we will stick these two other magnets just to check the correct orientation. Now we're going to insert the magnets into our packs. Like this, one, this is the other one, and two. Now we're gonna close our packs Using the lids, we will press firmly, and that's it. This is the final product. Of course, you will have to use super glue because you will be dropping this a lot, and the, the lid will come off every time they hit the ground. So, you can start practicing right away. As you can see, um, nothing, this moves really smoothly. And a really nice feature is that you can stack them, if you print a bunch of them, you can stack them on top of each other. So, well, that's pretty much it. I forgot to mention, I added a hole in case you want to add a key chain ring. So you can, I don't know, you can hang it wherever you want, maybe on your backpack or something like that. And well, if you like this project, maybe consider subscribing or maybe support me on my Patreon. And um, well, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna leave you with um, with some B-rolls of my terrible, terrible skills using this thing. <laughs>